Hetepu. My name is Jabari Osaze, and this is Ancient Wisdom Daily. For this Tuesday, we have a bit of wisdom that comes to us from an inscription from a man uh, named Nefer Seshem Ra. Nefer Seshem Ra. And interestingly, he even has a nickname. His nickname is Seshi. And Nefer Seshem Ra, or Seshi, comes to us from the sixth dynasty of ancient Egypt, or Kemet. This is very, a very, very long time ago. You can imagine that during this period, we're talking about something that occurs over 4,000 years ago. Let's listen to what Seshi says are his most important accomplishments as he writes this inscription on the outside of his tomb. I have come from my town. I have descended from my gnome. I have done justice for the governor. I have satisfied him with what he loves. I spoke truly, I did right. I spoke fairly, I repeated fairly. I seized the right moment so as to stand well with people. I judged between two so as to content them. I rescued the weak from one stronger than he, as much as was in my power. I gave bread to the hungry and clothes to the naked. I brought the boatless to land. I buried him who had no son. I made a boat for him who lacked one. I respected my father. I pleased my mother. I raised their children. So says he whose name is Seshi. Think about those things that you want written as your epitaph when you pass. What are the things that you think will best describe the journey that you've taken here on this planet? Keep in mind that we're here to make this place better than when we found it. If not, then we're simply just taking up space and wasting time. And so as we listen to the things that Seshi says he did well, he talks about what he did well with people who were powerful. Perhaps he's one who worked clo closely with the person that was in charge of his gnome or state so that he did well with the governor. But keep in mind that we can focus on all those things you did, all the titles that you had, the fact that he is probably a wealthy noble, but he doesn't end there. He then talks about what he does for people who are in need. He says he gave bread to the hungry and that he gave clothes to the naked. And in addition to that, he says that he even respected his parents and raised their children. I like this particular inscription because it's so intimate. Often when we think about ancient Egypt, when we think about Kemet, we actually see these lofty monuments and statues made of gold, but we don't think about them as, as human beings that have families and, and have trials and tribulations. And in actuality, Seshi, this great noble from one of the oldest periods known to humanity, says that one of his most important actions, one of his most uh, vaunted deeds was that he took care of his brothers and sisters. Are you taking care of your family? Have you respected your parents? Hopefully these are things that you'll be able to number among your greatest deeds as well. This is Jabari Osaze, and this has been Ancient Wisdom Daily. Would you like to receive these on a daily basis? Simply go to ancientwisdomdaily.com and subscribe and you'll get these bits of ancient wisdom directly in your inbox every morning. With that, this is Jabari Osaze, signing out.